A new study is raising questions tonight about something millions of people are exposed to every day. It's the fluoride found in the tap water in some Canadian cities. The research suggests pregnant women who drink fluoridated water could have children with slightly lower IQ scores. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, has that story. Tracking over 500 mothers and their babies in six Canadian cities, the study is the largest of its kind. Finding children exposed to higher levels of fluoride during pregnancy had lower intelligence scores. It was a shock because we were all told that it's safe. Um, so when we found evidence contrary to uh, this widespread belief, uh, it was shocking. The study looked at the amount of fluoridated water the mothers drank and measured levels in urine samples. When the researchers looked at their children at age three or four, they noted a 3.7 to 4.5 drop in IQ scores among the children exposed to higher levels of fluoride during pregnancy. It's comparable to what you would see uh, with lead exposure, and that's why we're so concerned. In the 1950s, fluoride was added to water and toothpaste in a bid to prevent cavities. About a third of Canadians now live in cities that still add fluoride. Toronto is one of them. Where Melanie Thompson had her three children, she finds the new results disturbing. I don't think it's ethical to continue fluoridating when there's any doubt at all that there may be a negative effect from the fluoridation. The Canadian Dental Association says it's reviewing the findings. In a statement, it's important to recognize this is one study with small sample sizes. And other scientists question the results. There may be a relationship between cognitive ability and fluoride intake. But I think when you look at the numbers, it really has to be very high fluoride intake in order to have a significant difference. But the lead researcher on this study has a very different message, encouraging women to reduce their intake of fluoridated water during pregnancy until more studies are done on this very troubling question. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.